Right now, we're going to conduct one of the most serious experiments on our channel. And for this, we're going to need... For the barbecue! We're going to be cooking you! Sizzlers! Woo, barbecue! We, me and the guys, are wanting to check to see if it's possible if we can grill barbecue using a regular power socket. But how will it work? In general, we connect the contacts to the skewer, plus and minus. Short circuiting will happen here, the skewer will heat up, and the barbecue should grill. This will be the most original way to cook barbecue. But if it works... Don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that. The main thing is not to touch the skewer while it's grilling, <laughs> you know? <laughs> don't flip it. And especially don't, don't try, try it with, with your teeth skewer. like that. Okay. Now, just so that you understand, these jokes are just jokes. This is really dangerous. That's why, for this, we prepared this. So that we don't come in contact with it and we control it with a remote-controlled car. Remote control. That's where the plan is. I turn on the car, it drives, 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 and what do you think? Plugs into the socket. A short circuit occurs, the barbecue grills, <laughs> and everyone is alive. How about some barbecue? <laughs> yeah! Barbecue, barbecue. And most importantly, all the experiments we'll be conducting today will be in this apartment. But this apartment has one peculiarity because it's not a real apartment. It's not even a real room. It's just a structure. And we'll all be standing behind this here. Shelter in our hangar. So, right now, on the count of three, we're starting to check whether the barbecue will grill or not. Is everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. One, two, three! Let's go! Uh oh! Whoa. So just now, a short circuit occurred. The power in our hangar went off. <laughs> now it's back on! Hooray! <laughs> now let's see what's happened to the barbecue. It's completely cold. So if you decide to grill barbecue directly on a full skewer like this, the electricity in your house will just shut off because a short circuit occurred, your circuit breaker will trip. In short, this is a solid piece of metal here, and because of this, a strong short circuit over voltage occurs. I suggest fixing this a bit. Just take and cut the skewer. Whoa! You this. You this. <laughs> now, to cause a short circuit again, we put the meat back on the skewer, but this time, making sure the metal contacts don't connect directly. Attempt number two. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening. Here we right. go! I think it's working! Okay! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! It's okay, it's okay! It's good! Whoa! That's me shooting, just so you know. <laughs> Man, it's, it's, it's gonna burn! If it stops cracking, it means it's grilled, and no current will pass through it. Oh, look, look, look! The meat has turned white! Can you see how the protein is curled up in these, like, the, the ready meats? Can you see? You know, it smells like someone's hair burned. Whoa. <laughs> I think the state of the barbecue is now, it's practically the maximum that we can achieve. It's been grilling for about five minutes already. I suggest looking at the result. Bring out the knife and ketchup. <laughs> Just turn it off first. <laughs> so what do we have here? Well, it's more or less. Oh, oh it's really hot. So look here. This this <laughs> part of the barbecue is actually cooked, but it smells it definitely smells burned. Well, it's basically charcoal inside. Well, listen, not exactly strong charcoal, honestly. It's burned though, yes, but this is how it looks and this is how it looks when you cut it. See, that's all white meat. Making barbecue with this is uh, impossible. That's how it actually works, but in reality, we have a lot more questions we want to answer. What will happen to objects if we plug them into the socket? But we'll find that out during today's experiments! Yay! Experiments! Let's do some barbecue! Oh. Next, what we will plug into the socket is this battery. This huge one here. And you know what? It's drawn here that you can't plug it into the socket. 
Strange, isn't it? Incredibly interesting to check. And now we'll find out why you can't plug it into the socket. Naturally, you shouldn't do this, but we will show you why you shouldn't do it. You just need to watch and remember that you'll never see anything like this in your life again. I don't know what could happen. Yeah, well, this looks way more dangerous than just connecting a skewer to an electric line. I think that will happen to it. I think it would just explode when a car battery sometimes malfunction. It heats up and boom. And of course, we have fire extinguishers prepared in advance. In case they come in handy. You should never play with sockets and fire in ready. any way. Let's go. One, two, three, three. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. The reaction. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. my. The reaction whoa. is happening. Oh, whoa. my. Whoa. Oh, my. This is what happens if you plug a battery into a socket. I wonder if it got charged even a little bit. <laughs> of course not. It probably got very hot. Even the wires heated up. If by chance you ever want to charge a battery and connect it to the socket, know that it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it will explode. So that's it. And now we're gonna enhance our experiment with some bass. This is a car speaker. It runs on 12 volts. We'll connect it to 220 volts. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, what track will it be? How about we go for Kanye? I'm on a highway to hell. Three. What was that? So, what happened? Is that it? No music today. <laughs> I wanted to dance. So, what's happening? What's going well, on? Well, we've got one more speaker. Maybe we just didn't even notice that something happened. Well, there was just a short circuit and just a zoot. The actual magnet didn't seem to resonate. So to see this better, we'll sprinkle some flour here. In theory, it should jump if something happens. Well, let's go. Everyone run away. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Well, it worked, kind of. Well, yeah. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Now that was it! <laughs> it popped! <laughs> it's bubbles, not pop it. I don't know what happened here, but what happened happened. Surely every one of you has seen these wires sticking out of the wall at least once in your life. And here, <laughs> whether they're connected to electricity or not, who knows? I don't know. Probably only the person sitting behind the wall. There's probably nobody there. But theoretically, what if you take these two wires and connect them? What will happen? I suggest we check this out right now. So here we have a mannequin and we're gonna give it these wires in its hands. I'll be the mannequin a bit. Don't worry if anything happens. I'm wearing rubber gloves and I'm touching all this in front of the mannequin. It's impossible for electricity to pass through here. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa. Right now, a process is happening that's incredibly similar to welding. Essentially, welding works on the same principle. The mannequin seems intact. The wires didn't burn in this area. But naturally, if your fingers were in contact in that area, it would have been a disaster. Essentially, the same as if you stuck your fingers into a socket. And trying to do the same thing through wires is also a no-go. The mannequin is made of cloth, after all. Cloth doesn't conduct electricity, so it's fine with that. And I'm wearing rubber gloves. But right now, fingers in the socket. I think this is one of the most humane and yet effective ways to show you what will happen to your fingers. Why doing this is absolutely forbidden. Although honestly, it's very uncomfortable for me to do this with a chicken's foot. Everything is done for the sake of experiments. First, let's see if fingers fit into the socket, even chicken ones. As you can see, my fingers won't fit in there no matter how much I try, <laughs> but a chicken's foot is relatively thin and similar. So there's a chance, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. 
Well, here, there might still be just nails, but let's imagine an extreme situation and this thing was removed for some reason. Suppose your dad started to repair the socket, stepped away for just a minute. And you, as a child, you run up to it and you're curious about what's inside the socket. It's very interesting. So now let's unscrew the cover and see what happens. The hole becomes slightly bigger. Attempt number two. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what's happening? Nothing. Fingers still won't fit. Let's move on, unscrewing the next stage. Now your socket is in this condition. Okay, let's go. Put it in. In short, you guys, we just need to strip the wires. As strange as it may sound, it's very hard to fit fingers into the socket. But still, don't ever attempt to do this. Why? Because maybe something somehow will work for you. Perhaps you're very talented and everything always works out for you. That's why touching exposed wires is a big no-no. Let's go. Your fingers just start melting and smoke starts coming from them. Most likely it's a rubbery chicken. The funniest thing is that the chicken's fingers just melted. Look, I'm holding it and it's hanging. All this time, a discharge of 220 volts passed through the chicken, and as you noticed, our circuit breaker didn't trip. What you saw with the chicken foot is the minimum that could have happened. So never mess around with electricity. I understand that in real life, it's impossible for someone to just take and somehow connect all of this to the socket. But nonetheless, perhaps in some parallel universe, it's possible. So, to keep you from worrying about this, and in case you've ever wondered what would happen, I know you're very curious, that's why this dangerous experiment is better shown in our hangar in this specially built apartment for experiments. This is really very explosive. It's no joke. Never under any circumstances should you attempt this. Now, the first thing we're going to start with is a regular deodorant. It says here that it must not be connected to fire. And electricity, in our case, is something very close to that. Connecting the contacts. Everyone wearing helmets? I warn you, this should never be done. Why? Because you'll find out in one, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that is burning. Now I think you understand why you shouldn't do this. At the very least, this could have happened to you. And ultimately, it could have led to a fire. Plus, the canister could have exploded. So it's not even worth thinking about it. Just watch our videos calmly, sitting in your chair safely. Well, we continue and connect to the next canister. We present to you a canister with paint. Will it be able to paint this apartment? This will remain a question for the next 10 seconds. 10, five, four, three, two, one, one. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh my, it's gonna have fire. Oh, Come on, let's do it! Whoa! 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 Oh, man, I As you can see, there's no paint here, <laughs> but the apartment could have burned down. Extinguish, let's go extinguish it. There's a camera. Film it, film it, film it. Although, by the way, you can see that the paint, look, it's scattered. And the fact that the paint scattered on the walls is quite harmless, as you already understand, right? What can I say? Whatever you connect to the socket, apart from the devices intended for it, will lead to serious problems with the apartment. 
Either it will burn, or it will catch fire, or it will explode, or it will burn, scorch, or kill you. Electricity is a dangerous thing. Well, that's probably it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and hitting the like. So, thank you to everyone, and good luck to everyone, and to everyone we say, bye-bye! Yeah!